Welcome back! I got a message about the last video telling me I'd missed the secret stash, so I decided to go back and take a look around. Turns out it's in the very same area as the terminal with the moved our stash entry on it, which I suppose makes sense. Just gonna go for a little jog here. Here is the door. And here is the key. And here is the treasure of a storage unit. It's a real pity that Amanda's mother left home when she was so young, otherwise she might have been taught how to open boxes and look inside of them for things. Alien Isolation. Experience the grueling terror of a Christmas morning with unwrappable presents. I'm making jokes here, but uh, interestingly, the schematic that's supposed to be found in here, I already got in the next room, the one with the uh, the electric thing hanging down that I had to crawl under for the, uh, the schematic for the med kit which makes the game design center of my brain fairly happy. I, uh, I do love games that give players the tools that they need to succeed, but then leave the usage of those tools up to the players. And if I'm done playing around with cardboard boxes, I suppose we'll get back to our regularly scheduled Let's Play. Welcome back! When last we left off, Amanda Ripley was searching for a maintenance jack to open up some doors so she could get to the bridge to contact the Torrens. Now, I'm fairly certain that the maintenance jack is just going to be a fancy wrench, because that's how future things are, but we're just going to go with it. If it opens doors, they can call it a Slim Jim Dodo Popper, for all I care. Automated doors are kind of the potluck dinners of transportation. They just pop open when you get close, and then you feel obligated to leave, even if you don't actually want to. Alien Isolation. The game's so devoted to showing characters sweat that even the ship you're on has a perspiration problem. I find babysitting drunks to be quite enjoyable. You can watch whatever you want and their parents don't get mad and they don't have a problem falling asleep afterwards either. Stop that. Hold E to hide in the noisiest way humanly possible. The only way to make this hiding place any less effective would be able to put a giant yellow sticky note on the outside that reads, Nobody hiding here! <laughs> Maybe there's a way to enter the locker quietly, like opening a door in Resident Evil 4. This room brought to you by the letter B. Whoops, looked like somebody ate a little too much human flesh before they decided to go crawling around in the ventilation shafts. Leaving out mugs of delicious hot chocolate, one of the lesser known xenomorph tactics for drawing out its prey. Oh, fuck. 
you can rest assured, Internet, that somewhere, someone got turned on by that line delivery. I guess he saved them the trouble of moving his murder weapon to evidence. In the future of the past, the majority of items will be boxes of varying sizes. Everything else will be kitschy, 70s style retro toys, computers, and clothing. I guess you could say the level designers are big fans of vents. <laughs> Xenomorphs have evolved a complex life cycle and a sophisticated terror tactics, yet the invention and usage of napkins eludes them entirely. <coughs> There's only so many one-liners you can make about dropping in, so I'm going to exercise some restraint and not use one right now. Rulo, I want to make a complaint. The room service is awful. The highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? Is that with a Q or... My complaint is this. The fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Also making the coffee on Tuesdays, but they've Sometimes never done that. The station with us and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. Like rabbits. Or New Jersey. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking... Oh, and if I'm dead when you hear this, do me a favor and jettison my laptop out an airlock before my family finds it. Must have died of a liquid chocolate overdose. Eh, worst ways to go, I guess. I think I need this more than you do. And look at that! It's a fancy wrench! Ah uh, yes, all the functionality of a regular wrench with all the inconvenience of a quick time event that you have to press three buttons for. Maybe we should just lock the door electronically, boss. No, we should definitely put these big conspicuous orange things on them that can be easily removed by anyone with a toolbox. It's offering of hot chocolate refused. The xenomorph angrily knocks over the serving cart, declaring it will never ever forgive Ripley for as long as it lives. Do I have a weapon at the ready to blast something that might be hiding behind the door? No, I do not. Is my force of habit still so strong that I back up ready to fire whenever I open a door? Yes, yes it is. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? No, it's Watson. Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. Maybe you should ask accounting. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. That conversation gets a thousand percent funnier if you imagine that they're talking to the alien. The xenomorph crawling through the vents carries a keyboard with it at all times, so it can do its own scare chords. Yep, always still full of dead people.
Now a cutscene better not happen. Oh, would you look at that. Stay still. Just like your ponytail. Okay. okay. Now turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley! If that is your name, Station. even though it's on your uniform... There's no ships! Here! There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place! I saw it. But lady... That's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Mecha Godzilla? Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. But I call shotgun this time. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. She promptly hit him over the head with the wrench. Let's go, sweetheart. Seek some comms is in the Cystex by. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? Usually when people talk about getting into trouble, it's followed by a sense of getting mischief, not a feeling of swelling dread. Also a smash cut to some sort of wild party, but that's less commonplace. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Listen, pal, I provide the female protagonist who opens doors and solves problems through nonviolence. You stand there and wave around your phallic symbol Is of the patriarchy. Is that you calling me back there? I had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. What did you just call me? Stick close to me. What? Hey, don't move. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Sevastopol We're Station, where a gun in your face who means hello. You? I'm John. This is Ringo. They're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Should we shoot them and take the elevator ourselves? Nah, the exercise won't kill us. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared, keeping to their own, safer that way. Ah uh, yes, the tried and true Scooby-Doo survival plan. I hope this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Actually, it's the Torrens. The real McCoy is out on the Kessel Run. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. So much for the special touch, I guess. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on, right now. Listen, though. when we get to the ship, we can get back, braid each other's hair, and chant all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship, I need to know what's going on, right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. On the road? Killer. What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here, picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. A monster that makes everyone who talks about it go out of their way to be as obtuse as possible?
Get your kids an Axle toy figure today. Now with ready for action hunching motion. Shit. We need to move. This way. Get down! This is bullshit, man. We should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. But what if we're being too expository with our dialogue? Shut up! Sleep soon. I can't hack much more of this. Trouble. We'll have to go random. Follow me. Station feels like a graveyard, huh? Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I pulled your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Ah, yes. How could humanity have made it this far without the time-honored tradition of killing everyone who's not you? Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. Crazy enough to fall in love with a beautiful stranger? You've been... living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. Take all the boxes and spare shoes you want. Really, I mean it. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. Well, he's a little out there, but certainly got away with words, Amanda. Ever given some thought to just settling down on a dying space station? It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Amanda's heart soared as she put on the flashlight headset, a time-honored rite of passage in the Ripley family. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Alright, time to hit the safe point if Axel's lampshade hanging is any hint. Until next time. This way. I love you more. No, I love you more. Oh my god, get a room, you two. Ugh.